If you type in a simple one or two word prompt, it can be an emotion or an object, Midjourney will often create a pretty cool image using its interpretation. And I like to call that a blunt prompt. But we want to move on to some other prompt formulas because I've got some other things you can try as well. We're going to start simple and build into the more complex ones. And the next one is just a simple object and style prompt formula. This is where you take a simple object like a mythical beast and add a strong style to it, such as DMT style or something like that. And I also have a bunch of style videos you can check out if you're looking for more references to try. But it often creates an object and simply adds that style of twist to it. And you get pretty interesting images when using this method. And of course, from this, you can derive a few other formulas such as contrasted styles, where you take two conflicting styles together. I like to take something really traditional like Yukioa and add 3D render to it. So you get like a modern twist on a traditional art style. And you can try that with a number of different ways. But also there is contrasted subject. This is where you'll take something that is also that's completely different. So you might say something like a fish and put a fish in the desert or something like that, uh, or simply add a contrasting style such as cyberpunk Western, where you've got something modern and something old mixed together. And Midgen is really great at blending those things together and getting unique results. Now, the next one I find to be more interesting, and that is style stacking. Now, with style stacking, you're basically taking a simple prompt. And one I've used in the past is Pikachu as the Terminator. And then you can add in something else on top of that. You can say Pikachu as the Terminator DMT style, or you can say Pikachu as the Terminator DMT style 3D render. And you can continue to build and build and build and build on that and I like to call that style stacking as you add the styles together and mid journey blends. And as you find you get something you don't like, you can take a step back and simply add to there. So style stacking is one I've had a lot of fun with in the past to see where I can take an object or an image uh, with mid journey. Now, the next one is chain prompting. And there's a little bit more to chain prompting and we're gonna get into that now. Now with chain prompting, I take something like a skull and crossbones and create that image and I find the one I like, and I find that this one is the best. I'm going to simply upscale this image. And now we can start doing the chain prompting. And what I'm going to do is click on the image. And where it says open a browser, I'm going to right click and copy link address. If you're on your phone, you can simply tap, hold, and copy the link from there. But then we start image prompting. So I go imagine, and I paste. And maybe this time I added something like cyborg in the desert, except it's got this image in it's referencing in the background and I hit enter. And now we've got these images here. And I find that this one here is pretty interesting. So I upscale that. And again, click on this, this image again, right click, copy link address. And now I use that image and I can change it up again. I can say something like Tatooine Sith Lord. And you can slowly go down this rabbit hole, what's called chain prompting and really just see what you can get by taking these image prompts each time and just simply adding and remixing and adding with that. And the cool thing about this is you can save an image, send it to someone, and then they can upload, use that in their image prompts to start chain prompting on their end as well, which is really, really cool. And you can just simply go on and on and on and keep creating images using this method. Also, shout out to Future Tech Pilot for actually uh, doing a video on this. I found it not long ago and I thought it was really interesting and I don't wanna share this without giving him some credit. So kudos to Future Tech Pilot for that one. Now, the next one is what I like to call as a very detailed prompt where we're trying to describe and take full control over what we want. Although you still have to leave a little bit up to luck because the AI is still interpreting it its own way. Now take this prompt formula. It is main subject, details of subject, background, art image style, lighting colors and parameters, etc. The idea is I would paste this into mid journey and I would simply highlight what I want to change first. So the first one might be Samurai Warrior, and then the details of the subject, red armor, battle damaged. The background then might be on the beach during sunset. The art style or image style might be 3D render, Unreal Engine, it's because I want something that looks 3D. The lighting, I can say cinematic lighting, golden hour. Colors, the colors are gonna go warm tones, red, orange, yellow. And the parameters, if you need help with parameters, by the way, I do have a cheat sheet you can download. I'll pop a link in the description below. All you need to do is sign up for my email newsletter and I'll send that to you and you can unsubscribe at any time. But coming back, we have our parameters. 
In the back we have our parameters, so I'll change that over to aspect ratio of 16 to 9, then the stylize of 300, and I hit enter. And then we get our image, and we've taken a little bit more control over what we wanted. We've plopped our subject in there, we've described what it looks like, we've described where he is, we've described the colors, the art style, and of course, uh, the lighting and things like that. So things are looking a little bit more predictable with our image. And while this isn't exactly what I predicted, that's the cool thing about Mid Journey, it's literally like hiring your own artist. So sometimes you don't get back the exact thing you envisioned, but what you get back is generally pretty cool. And I highly recommend looking at it that way. Try not to get the exact images in your imagination, because if you want that, you're better off actually learning how to do that yourself. It's always good to leave a little bit of creativity up to Mid Journey when prompting for images. Remember, you can always re-roll and change your prompt if you turn remix mode on. Just type in slash settings, turn on remix, and you can add in even more, including massive fire, and you can continue to tweak from there or even combine some of these prompt formulas that I've discussed today to get better results. Otherwise, that's the video for today, guys. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.